I think it's safe to say that for most of us, when we start our journey into watch collecting, there are certain Swiss brand names that come up, and then there are some that we discover or stumble upon on our own. Regardless of how the spotlight is put on, one brand we all know of is Mito. This Mito watch, named the Belluna 2 Urs et Minutes de Santres reference M024444A, can be summarized by the two things it does exceptionally well. It masters subtle design, and it is balanced beautifully. This review would not be possible if it were not for one of our loyal viewers and members of the Schwartz Force, Jeff. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Jeff for sending this watch into the channel along with a couple of others for review. Stick around to the end to see which strap was selected by you all on my last video featuring this watch. Let's get started. Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? This watch has a case diameter of 40 millimeters with a lug to lug height of 46 and a half millimeters, allowing for smaller wristed gentlemen or ladies to enjoy its company. Case thickness at the tallest point of the dome sapphire crystal is 12.5 millimeters. Lug width is 20 millimeters, allowing for maximum alternatives when it comes to strap options. The strap that comes with this watch is a nice chocolate brown leather with alligator embossed pattern that is curved and form fitted at the lugs to give a seamless transition from case to strap. The strap also features a rose gold double deployant butterfly clasp that locks in place with pressure. The pink gold color matches the case and both pieces are 316L solid stainless steel that has been PVD coated. The finishing, I have to say, is done perfectly with high polished sides and edges throughout. Let's take a look at the finishing up close. Remember when I mentioned one thing this Belluna masters is subtle design? Here are a few examples. These lugs feature a beveled edge that runs from tip to the case and then melts into the side of the case. The end result is an edge that is not sharp like we would usually see, but is soft and subtle. Notice the bezel of the case. It almost looks as if it's separated from the case with this deep separation line that cuts into the side of the case giving depth and a subtle accent that reflects light just slightly. But it doesn't end there. The watch features a dome sapphire crystal that gives great clarity even at an angle and rests about one millimeter above the case with a sharp beveled edge. The edge will give a glimmer in the light, again, a subtle touch in design. Do you want to see more? Let's look at the dial. From afar, we see that the next element mastered with the Belluna is balance. When I first saw this watch, I thought it was a regulator style watch, that is to say, a hand for each separate time telling function, your seconds, minutes, and hours. But on a second look, I noticed that it actually features the main dial to the left in the form of a subdial and a larger running seconds hand subdial to the right. Connecting these two dials is the date wheel with an extended crescent shaped window that allows you to see days past and days to come. The simple rose gold arrow that's applied points to the current date. And while these are all offset from the center, the sizing and position is well balanced. To avoid too minimalist of a look, we see the Urs et Minutes de Santres printed above the upper edge parallel to the date wheel, giving balance to it. Now let's get up close so I can show you more mastered subtlety. Notice how the main portion of the dial is this pearlescent silver color and texture, but the running seconds hand has concentric patterns in the dial that allow the light to hit it differently. And on the main minute and hour subdial, there is use of a sunburst effect. Now the printed words along the top of the watch are set onto a borderless section of flat texture, unlike the fine printing of Swiss made on the bottom of the dial. The date wheel is positioned and recessed behind the dial and the date box is beveled along the edges. The small seconds hand subdial features a long, simple needle shaped hand that extends out to the edge for easy readability. And the chapter ring is sloped in a curved shape in silver with printed stick indices. You'll notice the edge of the subdial is polished on the outside. And while it is raised above the main dial, it runs flush along into the chapter ring of the main left subdial. The effect is an impressive amount of depth with this watch. 
The main dial to the left features leaf-shaped hour and minute hands in rose gold with applied stick hour markers along the chapter ring. Chapter ring is split between each hour and we see polishing along the outer edge of the subdial and on the inner edge of the chapter ring. Medo branding is printed at 12 o'clock on the subdial with indication of automatic movement printed at 6 o'clock. The automatic movement powering this watch is the Eta Caliber 2825-2 which allows for hand winding with this push-pull crown that does feature a nice coin edge and Mito branding. Pulling the crown out into position two will allow for hacking of the second hand. This movement is beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour and currently has an accuracy of about minus one to minus two seconds per day with zero beat error. It's very impressive to see on this watch. The movement is nicely decorated, which we can view through the exhibition case back. The case back is screwed into the case and also finished in a PVD coated rose gold color. Now there is no loom applied to this dress watch and it has a water resistance rating of 50 meters, which is acceptable and expected for a dress watch like this. So to wrap it up, I think this is just a really cool watch, very different, not something you see all the time, very unique with the dial design, but well balanced. And I know that with the chocolate strap that the watch came with, Jeff wanted to kind of get some other strap recommendations outside the box. I know a lot of you guys in the video I posted with his watch asking for help on which strap to go with had gone with some of the more safe options, you know, a black leather strap or brown leather strap. But I gotta say, even though it didn't get the most votes, my personal favorite was the burgundy tweed. Now, even though this has the stainless steel hardware, I'm gonna see if I can fit it onto that rose gold double deployment clasp. I just think that the color pairing on these two is perfect. So Jeff, I'm gonna go ahead and send you my Vario Harris tweed strap for you to rock on this watch. Just my way of saying thank you for sending it into the channel. Check it out, I was able to get it onto your rose gold double deployment clasp so jeff i hope you like the look of this um it's just my personal favorite sorry some of the wrapping came off when i was getting it fitted but i hope you enjoy the new strap with your watch my friend and thank you again for sending it into the channel i'm going to show you on the wrist there you go i'm going to miss this strap buddy so please enjoy it and uh, definitely wear it maybe not so much in the spring and summer but once the fall and winter rolls around would love to see a photo of you rocking it if not no hard feelings. You can always send it back too. <laughs> I won't say no to that, but this is my personal favorite. I think maybe in a navy or even like a dark forest green or chocolate brown. I know they have the pecan brown that P. Ross has, and that would probably pair just as well with this one. All right, guys. So let me know what you think of my pairing on the strap and let me know what you think of the Mito Belluna. I would love to hear your thoughts on this watch overall and I always look forward to your feedback. Now, if you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, it's not too late, you can tap my face down here and would love to have you be part of the family, so thank you in advance for that. Make sure you hit that bell for future notifications. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so much. Thank you for that. And if you enjoyed this video, you can always check out this one up here. I know you'll enjoy that one as well. But as always, may the Schwartz be with you and I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Take care.